All right, what's up guys? It is KA Central here, and I'm bringing you guys some interesting, really interesting Kingdom Hearts news for you guys today, but I don't think it's something to be necessarily worried about. Um, so just wait for the whole video to see what that's about. So user on Twitter, which doesn't really go by any name, so I won't really say a name, I'm just gonna say this Twitter user, um, which was then found by KH Insider, apparently found out that on the Xbox website in Japan, Kingdom Hearts 3 does not have a page on there anymore. So if you visit the link that he provided in the tweet, which I will put down in the description below if you want to go check it out, which is the original link for the Kingdom Hearts 3 page on the Japanese Xbox website, you can see that it says the page you are looking for cannot be found, so that obviously means it's not there anymore, which means it was deleted. And for any of you wondering if there ever was one, and I'm just bullshitting, go down to the other link he provided in the tweet, and he pulls up a web archive of the thing to the last known date, which was July 15th, 2016. So if you want to go check that out, that shows that it was there at one point. So if they're removing the Xbox Kingdom Hearts 3 page on the Japanese Xbox website, um, what exactly does that mean for Kingdom Hearts 3? So I think this may be bad for Japanese gamers who own an Xbox One, which is a very small minority. Um, but I think overall for Americans and Europeans and all that stuff, this probably is going to affect them because of reasons I'll go into right now. So let's go into that. One... You know the Xbox has done jack shit in Japan for years now. It's It's been doing jack shit ever since it was launched since the original Xbox, you know, like back in 2001, 2002, whenever they launched it over there. Because it doesn't appeal to Japanese gamers at all. It's not really a Japanese game kind of uh, made system, it's not really made for them, it's kind of made for Americans mostly, and Europeans. Um, but it's not really a thing over there that they like. They mainly like their Sonys and their Nintendos and all of, all that stuff over there, because that's kind of more geared towards them. I actually have some sales figures right here to show you how bad Xbox is doing in Japan. So on the original launch week of the Xbox One in Japan, they sold around 23,562 consoles within the first week, compared to the Xbox 360's launch week over there in Japan, which sold about 62,000 consoles during its first week, which is not good either, because it sold jack shit over there in Japan as well, the Xbox 360. But that's not the worst part. Oh, this is just the embarrassing part right here. Um, in the week ending of June 14th, 2015, the Xbox One sold just a hundred consoles in Japan. Not a thousand, not ten thousand, not a hundred thousand. No, just a hundred in the span of a week. And it becomes even more embarrassing when you compare it to the Wii U sales of that same week, which was about 16,000 units in Japan. The Wii U outsold the Xbox One in Japan 1600 to 1. So I guess this could mean that maybe they're not going to be doing it on Xbox One in Japan because they don't see it's worth it, you know, because no one's buying an Xbox One in Japan. Um, so maybe that's what's going on here. And let me clarify what I said earlier about 90% doesn't mean jack. 90% doesn't mean jack for Americans, I should say, because this probably is screwing over Japanese gamers over here on the Xbox One, which is a small minority, a very small minority. So I think that may be the reason why they took it off, because the American side is still up. The American side is still up. Let me preface that. The American side is 100% up right now. You can still pre-order the game on there as of the recording of this video. If that changes, I'll probably correct that. But as of right now, it's still up. So I think we're still safe for Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out on Xbox One over here in America as well. But again, that could change. So I guess this could imply that they're not going to be releasing a uh, Xbox One version of Kingdom Hearts 3 in Japan, because no one fucking buys it over there. So... I guess we'll just have to wait and see what exactly this all means. Again, the American side is still up, so I think we're all safe for Americans over here. But Japanese gamers, I don't know. So if you're a Japanese gamer and own Xbox One and want to play it on that, make sure to stay tuned for some more news that's coming out over the next few months leading up to winter when we get some more information on Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe some stuff will be clarified then. I don't know. Maybe they just removed it because they just don't see it's worth it because no one visits the Xbox One Japanese side. Hell, why are they still making the fucking thing over there? It's, it's so abysmal. I don't see why they think it's profitable to keep making it over there anymore. I've not seen anything saying it's been dis discontinued, but they might as well. But that aside, these next coming on so are probably going to be interesting seeing this little thing pop up so make sure to stay tuned because i will be reporting all over that shit so tell me down in the comments below what you think of this do you think that this could mean that they are not going to be doing an xbox one version of kingdom hearts 3 in japan or do you think this is, doesn't really mean anything and this just is a little thing that you're just doing just to say fuck it it's not worth it anymore so make sure right down in the comments below your opinion on that also make sure to subscribe and like this video because that'd be really awesome if you did this has been k8 central and i will see you guys later bye